Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Heart Technologies pregame show. The Chiefs are getting set for the fourth of six matchups against the Beloit Sky Car. Peoria leads the series two games to one, beating Beloit last night 11 to eight, with the game tied at eight in the bottom of the eighth. Nathan Church gave Peoria the lead for good with this swing. One, two to Church, a looper towards the left field line, a long run for Bradshaw. He can't get there, and it skips past him. Scott scores. Church will get credited with a bloop double, and the Chiefs jump back in front. It's 9-8. That was one of four hits in the game for Church, setting a new career high. The Chiefs added two more, two batters later, on this Jimmy Crooks drive. Comes set. And Anders' first pitch is clobbered to deep left. Bradshaw on the run. This ball is gone! Jimmy Crooks! A little oppo taco, a two-run homer. The Chiefs crack double digits tonight. It's 11-8. Crooks and Church both homered, and they both combined to drive in five of the Peoria 11 runs. The 11 runs set a new season high, and the club had a season high 18 hits, the most in a game for the Chiefs since 2018. Roy Garcia notched his first career high A save as the Chiefs won their 25th game of the year. They slot into fourth place in the West entering tonight, leapfrogging Beloit. The Chiefs are five out of first with 12 games to play in the first half. And the month of June has been fairly kind to Peoria thus far. They're four and three this month, while Beloit is just two and five. Tonight, Trent Baker starts opposite fellow right-hander Alex Williams. More on the pitching matchup later on in the show. It's been a back and forth series thus far and to discuss the details the voice of the Sky Carp Larry Larson joins the show. That's coming up next here on the Heart Technologies pregame show. Hi everyone, welcome into the Heart Technologies pregame show. Harris Eisenberg with you from Dozer Park here in downtown Peoria, getting you set for game three of this six game series between the Peoria Chiefs and the Beloit Sky Carp. The series is even at a game apiece with both teams having moments where they've sprung to life. Tuesday, it was the Chiefs overcoming a four-run deficit en route to a walk-off win. Yesterday, it was the Sky Carp who scored seven unanswered from the eighth inning on to win 8-5. to five. Both teams enter with 24 wins on the year, 29 losses for Peoria, 28 for Beloit. The Sky Carp have already scored the same amount of runs through two games this week than they did all of last week in their series with the Great Lakes Loons. Five teams in the West are separated by just five games. Beloit is in fourth place, a half a game ahead of Peoria. The Chiefs are running out of time with just 13 games remaining in the first half, but there's an opportunity to gain ground for sure. Ten of those final 13 first half games will be against teams under 500. Peoria is 16 and 10 against teams that are under 500. When we come back, we sit down with Chiefs outfielder Tyler Reichenborn. The pitching matchup and lineups will follow. You're listening to the Heart Technologies pregame show on the Peoria Chiefs streaming network. Welcome back to the Heart Technologies pregame show. First pitch between the Chiefs and Sky Carp coming your way at 6.35. Before things unraveled on the Chiefs yesterday, they got out to a 5-1 to lead thanks to this Tyler Reichenborn three-run blast. Trail runners move up and the count nothing and two on Reichenborn. And the next pitch is skied to deep left field. Back and gone! Tyler Reichenborn, a three-run homer. The Chiefs put up a four spot in the seventh, and they lead it 5-1 as Reichenborn stomps on home plate. What a time for Reichenborn's third homer of the year. His third home run of the year ties him for the team lead, and Reichenborn has only played in 23 games this year, but he's making the most of his opportunities. He's back in the lineup tonight, and I caught up with him earlier today to discuss his routine and much more. Tyler Reichenborn joins us on the Heart Technologies pregame show. Tyler, thanks for coming on. A couple hits for you yesterday, including a three-run home run. Saw a little emotion as well, a little <laughs> stomp on the plate. How good did that feel for you? Uh, that felt great. You know, I've been putting in a lot of work in our pregame routines. I can't thank our staff enough for helping me develop those routines as well. And just glad that it was all able to come to fruition on the field. Yeah. You talk about the staff. Casey Chenwith's in his first year with the organization. I know he likes to mix it up in BP a lot of days. Uh, what's it like working with him? Uh, he, he's a great clubhouse guy, like a great player relation guy. And like you said, he mixes it up. 
which helps us players keep fresh uh, hitting every day. So once you know, sometimes we get stuck in routines and then things become monotonous. But uh, you know, he helps us uh, defend against that. Let's talk about your journey to the pros. You go the JUCO route. Um, talk about that process of trying to get to the pros and obviously getting drafted by the Dodgers coming uh, from a junior college. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my path to the pros is definitely a little unique. So I was drafted in 18 by the Dodgers. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to sign, so I decided to go back to school and then uh, became, didn't get drafted my senior year so that helped me go to indie ball where you know i went there balled out for a month and then uh cardinals were lucky enough to see me in gateway and sign me up so ever since then it's been a blast yeah there you go and you've been here for a few years now talk about this group for a second a lot of good vibes around the team just uh what makes this group a little bit different from maybe some of the past groups you've been a part of uh definitely a higher energy group here uh, everyone gets along in the clubhouse so like we're all buddy buddies in there a lot of ping pong tournaments so i think that's uh, helping it out and then, uh, you know, we've got some songs for us after games, so make sure we keep the streaks going. Yeah, awesome. All right. Well, we're hoping for some more streaks headed down the line. Thanks for the time. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. Tyler's batting 300 over his last 12 games. This is career game number 186 as a chief for Reichenborn. He will bat ninth and play right field. He's not the only chief who has produced at the bottom of the lineup as of late. Ramon Mendoza will hit seventh and has brought in the bulk of the production. Ramon's hitting 333 over the last 10 games and has reached base in 10 of the last 11. In fact, he's driven in three runs in this series, all via sacrifice flies. We'll give you the rest of the lineup and tonight pitching matchup next here on the Heart Technologies pregame show on the Peoria Chiefs streaming network. Welcome back to the Heart Technologies pregame show. Now for tonight's pitching preview, Trent Baker goes for Peoria. The right-hander has taken the loss and back-to-back -back starts. He's given up nine runs over his last nine innings of work and is looking for his first win since the 4th of May. The fellow right-hander tonight is Alex Williams. He goes for the Sky Carp, an 11th round selection by the Marlins last year. He's making his fifth start since coming off the IL in May due to elbow soreness. Got roughed up his last time out, allowing a season-high seven runs over four innings to take the loss for the first time this year. Now for tonight's lineups. They're powered by Interstate Batteries. Visit their all-battery center on Brandywine Drive in Peoria. Interstate Batteries, outrageously dependable. First for the visitors, they are the Beloit Sky Carp. They're 24 and 29 and managed by Billy Gardner Jr. They're going with their road grays once again. Davis Bradshaw in the leadoff slot tonight. He's in left field. Khalil Watson plays second base and bats second. Jacob Berry making his second consecutive start at first base. He bats third. Yidi Cape is the shortstop. He cleans up. Jake Thompson is in right field tonight, batting fifth. Joe Mack is doing the catching and batting sixth. Josh Zamora is at third base, batting seventh. Zach Zubia gets his first start of the series. He's the DH tonight, and he will bat eighth. And Osiris Johnson is a center fielder, batting ninth. With the right-hander Alex Williams on the mound, a 1-1 one one record with a 4-6-7 ERA. Bradshaw, Watson, Berry, Cape, Thompson, Mack, Zamora, Zubia, and Johnson with the right-hander Williams on the mound. Yidi Cape is a player to watch tonight for the Sky Carp. He's 7 for 14 in the series with a home run. Beloit has homered in all three games of the series and have hit six bombs over the last four contests. Now for the home team, the Peoria Chiefs, they are 25 and 29. They're going with their Copa uniforms, a green uniform with purple sleeves and the home white pants. Victor Scott leads off, he's in center field. Nathan Church is in left field, batting second. Aaron McKeithen is the DH batting third. Jimmy Crooks does the catching and cleans up. Jeremy Rivas will hit fifth and play shortstop. Osvaldo Tovalin is a third baseman, batting sixth. Thomas Francisco at first base, bats seventh. Francisco Hernandez will make his first start of the series, and he bats eighth. And Darlene Moquette is in right field, batting ninth. With the right-hander Trent Baker on the mound, he's two and four with a 4-1-0 ERA in this lineup was written down by the acting manager, Casey Chanowith. Scott Church McKeithen, Crooks Rivas Tovalim, Francisco Hernandez, and Moquete with the right-hander, Baker, on the mound. Same first three in the order for the Chiefs as last night. Scott Church and McKeithen combined to go 10 for 14 in last night's contest. A big tone setter at the top of the lineup. Osvaldo Tovalim's hitting streak is at nine with a hit tonight. He would have the longest hitting streak of any Chief 
this year. The Chiefs have taken the field, and first pitch is coming up next. Thank you for tuning in to the Heart Technologies pregame show. Cody Schindler has the first pitch of the ball game coming up next. I'll rejoin you for middle innings and for post game. You can listen right here on the Peoria Chiefs streaming network. You can also join us on the simulcasts on the Bally Sports Live app and MILB.tv. Hope you enjoyed tonight's broadcast, no matter the outcome.